To get started, log into your account at jonathanparker.org. Once you're logged in, go to the section called File Downloads. Here you should see the files which are currently available for download under your account. In this example, we have the Soul Light Combo. Notice at the end of the file name, we have the extension .zip. Keep in mind that a zip file is not directly playable on your computer or MP3 player. A zip file is a really handy way to combine multiple files into one, which makes it easier for our customers to download. If you have Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, or even Windows 8, your operating system can open zip files natively. The same goes for most recent Mac OS operating systems. However, if you have an older version of Windows, you may want to scroll to the section titled For PC Users and download the program 7-Zip. Also for Mac, feel free to download the extraction software Stuff It if your operating system is too old to open zip files natively. Now, let's download the file to our computer and get started. Click the file name and you should be greeted with a pop-up to download the file to your computer. Make sure Save File is selected for Mac or Save instead of Run for Windows. Then click OK. You'll be greeted with another pop-up that asks you where on your computer you would like to save the zip file. Remember this location and then click Save. The file will now begin downloading to your computer. Now that the download is complete, browse to the location on your computer where you saved the zip file. For this example, I've saved the file on our desktop. Now, if you're on a Mac computer, you should see a symbol that looks like this. If that is the case, you can simply double-click the file, or you can right-click and go to Open. I'll double-click the file now. You should now see that Archive Utility is unarchiving the zip file. And now a folder will appear. On a Windows computer, you would simply right-click on the zip file and go to Extract or Extract Here or Extract Files Here. This will produce the same result. You'll see now that we have a folder in this example called Solite Package.